If you are creating a top down game, then you want your enemy to patrol around the place. In this video, I will make two kinds of patrol. One will be in the circular path and one in a linear path. Right now, I have an enemy that is able to detect player, aim at him and shoot a bullet at him. If you want to know how this all works, then you can watch this video on YouTube. I will put a link in the description. I have just done the same thing that told in this video. Now to move our enemy, we will use this path to denote. If you want any object to move around the scene, it is the best way of doing it. Now select the path 2D node and click this icon to add new points. This path 2D will create a path along which our enemy will move. Now moving our enemy in a circular path is easy, so we will do that first. For this, you need to draw a close path and keep in mind that you need to close the path properly in order to make it work. For this, click on this button and it will automatically close the path. Now click on path 2D and add a path follow node to it. This node will move along the path that we have created and everything that we want to move will come under it. So add our enemy as a child of our path follow node. As you can see our enemy is now on the path that we have created. To move it along the path, we come to path follow node and here we will find an offset. This is a property that is responsible to move every object under it. You will notice that as we move this slider, the enemy will start moving along the path. Now we just have to do the same thing by code, so that when the enemy detects the player, it will stop moving and shoot at him. And once the player got away, it should start moving again. So first create an export variable that will tell us whether this enemy is moving in loop or linear path. After doing that, this value can be set from the inspector. For this enemy, I want to be in a circular path, so I will select loop here. Now when we detect the player, we want to change its state to fight. And when the player gets away, we want it to be in patrol state. So in the process function, when the state is patrol, we should do the patrolling. And also pass the delta value as well. Now inside the patrol function, we first check whether the patrol type is equal to loop or not. We will do the coding for linear path later. But first, let's create a variable that will contain the path follow node. And now we just have to increment the offset by speed times delta. If we see our game now, it is working properly. But when the player gets in the enemy's range, the enemy rotates. This disturbs the enemy rotation value even after the player get away. To solve this, we check if the rotation value is not equal to 0, then we will make it 0. I am going to use this lerp function so that the enemy rotate back smoothly. The lerp is used to change the value of any variable smoothly. The first argument is the starting value and the ending value and then the last is weight. The lower the weight value, the longer it will take to complete. The higher the value, the faster it will be. And that's it. We have completely created the loop patrol type. Now for the linear patrolling, it is a little bit difficult. First we will make a path using the path to denote, but this time we will not close it. Now add a path follow node to it as well and add the enemy as a child of it. Don't forget to set the enemy's patrol type to linear. Now what we are gonna do is increase the offset. And when it reaches the end of it, we will wait a little bit and then rotate our enemy and start reducing the offset value. Similarly, when we reach the starting point again, we will wait a little bit and rotate it again. And this process goes on. So to keep track of when our enemy is moving forward and when it is moving backward, we will simply create a variable. Here 1 will mean forward and 0 will mean backward. So inside our patrol function, when we get that it is a linear path, we first check for direction. And if we are moving forward, then we just have to increase the offset. But before doing that, we need to check if we reaches the end or not. In the path follow node, we also have a property called unit offset. It is just a percentage of how far we have traveled. So 0 will mean starting point and 1 will mean the ending point. So if the unit offset is 1, that means we have reached the end. And if it is not, then we keep increasing the offset value. But if it is 1, then we will wait for 0.3 seconds by creating a timer with yield function. This yield function will stop the execution of the current function until the timeout signal is received. Now when the timer will end, we will rotate our enemy by 180 degrees. And now I am gonna create another timer so that the enemy will get enough time to rotate completely. If it is not done, then the enemy will start moving backward without completely rotated. And finally, we set the direction to zero, indicating the backward movement of the enemy. We will do the same thing in the backward movement also. Just instead of increasing the offset, we decrease this time and we will check whether we reach starting point or not. We will set the rotation back to 0 here and at last we will set the direction again to 1. And here you go. Now whenever you need to add an enemy, just create a path and add a path follow node and then the enemy. And set the patrol type accordingly. And you are all done. I hope this video will help you. Also if you want me to make video on any game mechanics, write down in the comment section and I will try to make it. And don't forget to like this video and also hit the subscribe button and I'll meet you in the next video.